Mr. Davies. I thought I'd send you an email about this and uh, a movie so we can see what's going on. So I'm anticipating what you're trying to do here is make this thing move up and down uh, and have this uh, cylinder. You look over here, a hydraulic cylinder connect over here to your splitting wedge. And uh, it's not really working. At least it's not working very well. So one thing I tried is uh, connecting that face to this face. I'm certain you've tried that. Tried to mate that together and it doesn't like it. It says it's overdefined. So what I started doing is started digging in some of the components down here to find out what your mates are. Now one thing you might want to do with your mates is that uh, you want to make sure that your mates are good mates. You don't want to have a bad mate. So some of the good mates, that, that's a good mate, uh, face to face, that's really good. I see what you're trying to do there. Uh, I'm not certain what that mate is, but apparently it's a point to point. So if you go in here and uh, try to look at that, a point to point mate is a really, really weak mate. You're going to have problems with that. An edge to a point or an edge to edge are also weak mates, but just a little bit stronger. But anything that you can uh, put a mate together with a with a surface, like uh, an edge to a surface is okay, but a surface is a surface, a surface to a surface, or a plane to a plane or a plane to a surface, those are the best mates you can get. So I'm not certain where these points are. It looks like they're like in here. Yeah, maybe they are. That that's a weak mate. I don't like that mate. So I'm going to go ahead and suppress that. You can delete that if you like. But um, I don't know if that really uh, f uh, has, any, has any function there or not. Uh, it seems to be uh, fairly well defined otherwise. So let's take a look at some of these other mates. This mate, I believe, serves the same function where you have that plate and that, that surface and that surface uh, coming together. Because if you uh, suppress that, you know, that guy comes out. You can see it uh, separating a little bit. So let's go ahead and keep that. The limit mate. Uh, where is that guy at? Okay, so they, you know, that's probably okay to keep, but for now I'm going to go ahead and suppress that because we're going to uh, we're going to add that in later. Let's see what else we got. Edge to edge, not a good mate. And this one face to face, that's a good mate. So um, let's go ahead and uh, suppress that one and actually make a better mate in there. Let's just take that face, that face, and uh, mate those together. Green check mark. We should be pre we should be in pretty good shape. Now, unless you've done your math right. Uh, this cylinder would have to be directly above this, um, you know, this face. These would have to be uh, parallel to each other, and I don't know if they are. Uh, so you'd have to actually measure the distance between the center axis here and where that uh, surface is, and make sure that uh, this cup over here is at that same distance. If it's not, then you have to move it. But a way to kind of cheat and get around that is I went ahead and created a line in here. If I double click on that, what it does is it allows me to edit that part within the assembly. I connect the line from that point to that point uh, on the, the quadrant edges of that circle, circular feature down there. And I just put a point in the middle of that. And the reason I did that is that now we can do a point to a surface. Even though I told you that you probably shouldn't do that, this is a way to kind of get around that. A point to point is really a weak mate, but this is probably okay in a situation like this. And we could probably mate those up. And there it goes. Now that limit mate, I believe that limit mate, if we uh, unsuppress that, and I tried that once, it kind of failed on me because I think it contradicts your limit mate that you have in your hydraulic cylinder. So you can't really have both of these if you're trying to do the same thing. I think it's going to hate us for that. It may not, but yeah, it does hate us. So let's go ahead and keep that suppressed. If you're trying to do redundant things in here, even though they may not conflict, if they're redundant, uh, it's not going to let us do it because it probably figures that sometime in the future it's going to fail on us and it's going to tell us right now that it's failing. So now that we have that suppressed, we might be able to see, and maybe you did do your math on that thing, let's go ahead and uh, go to that coincident uh, mate and um, let's go ahead and edit that. So let's head to the point. Let's see if we can select that face. If you right click in here and go to select other, you can select uh, various different surfaces. We don't want that face. Oops. Actually, let's just let's, let's just do this. Let's uh, go ahead and delete that for now. Let's pull this thing out. Let's see if we can just reestablish that mate. So we're going to click on that surface, and maybe this surface. Go to mate. There we go. So I think the thing that was uh, was tripping you up was primarily that uh, you know that limit uh, distance mate because it contradicted uh, a limit mate that you probably already have in your cylinder. So that should work for you. Cut some wood. Alright, we'll see you in class.